The Fairy Tale Chest. This is the Corona family film from the project Our Old House is Telling Stories. There's a lot of stories in the old oak chest. Is that like a Is it a magical chest, Wolfie asks? In this unusual time, things have developed into unplanned direction. This is my friend Susie and me, the grandma living in the old house. When we started the project, we thought of dealing with the history of the house, with old traditions of the region and such. Instead, we made fairy tale films. Don Röschen, Sleeping Beauty, Rumpelstilzchen, The Hobgoblin, and Froschkönig, The Frog King. How this all developed during this Corona winter is shown in this film. Schimmeldewok in November 2020. The project starts in this actual present time and with the children. Naturally, they're important in this more generation project. Because of Corona, almost everything was restricted to family members. David lives a little further away and we tried not to mix them with the families of his sisters Katharina and Anna Marie. Their kids here met outside when November sun shined so friendly on our house. Well, you know the scene from the introduction film. And now I want to tell you who the children are. And they're from left to right. Wolfi, that's Anna's boy. Maria Lina and Sara are daughters of Katharina and Ali. And Matilda, Anna's girl. Maria resembles her mother in that age, doesn't she? The old guest room more or less looks the same since centuries. And here we are in the attic. After renovation we made part of the attic into a little museum. Here, in this open room, we planned on starting the film project with a meeting of the three older kids and their parents. Then, actually, we were only a very small group. Of the three grandkids born in 2014, only Wolf Noah and Maria were here. Lotta, the oldest of the children born in 2014, was missing. Here she is pointing to her name in the family tree. All ten grandchildren of Melvin and Gabriele Forster originally were planned to come together. But because of Corona, we filmed them separately and afterwards put the video clips together. The kids have quite close connections with their cousins. When they visited grandma, they used to look at the videos we made of their cousins. Like that, the project helped to keep family togetherness during time of Corona. The kids now all appear in the films, not at once, but after one another, and now they are introduced here. 
This is Lotta, David's girl, going to school since summer 2020. Maria Lina is the oldest of the three daughters of Katharina and her husband Ali. Wolf Noah, Anna's boy, proudly presents his school backpack in February 2021. Sarah here on the left is the second daughter of Katharina and Ali, born 2016. The little girl with the glasses is Matilda, Wolfie's little sister and daughter of Anna and René. Mattis is a little younger than Matilda, David's boy and the little brother of Lotta. The youngest of my three grandkids born in 2018 is Sophia, the little dwarf here. And here is the youngest, Salman Jakob Karma, little one of Katharina and Ali. Because of Corona restrictions, there's no photo of all kids together. But the film project catches moments of their childhood and connects it with the history of the house. So you see here, the group meeting in October was melted down to Maria Lina, Wolfi, and the grandma. We were discussing what it means a house is telling stories. In reality a house cannot talk, Maria says. But a book cannot talk neither and still it is telling stories when Aunt Babel is reading the stories to the children. Sitting here the kids learn the story with their ears, listening. You can also use your eyes, like Lotta looking at the old dollhouse, or using the hands when Matilda and Matis play with old toys. Or you can ask questions. You can listen to explanations. Wolfi touches the oak beam with his hands. I invite them to do so with the oak chest. Vielleicht fühlt ihr eine Verbindung zu der ganz alten Zeit, aus der die Schnitzkiste kommt. Das fühlt sich an wie alter Baum. Ja, weil das Holz ist ja. Wie altes Holz und als wären da Dried apples were stored inside ones. They did that still in my childhood days and I liked eating those dried apples just like Lotta. What's inside now? That depends on what you want to be inside what you are interested in. Oma, can the house tell fairy tales also? Oma, can the house of Maria This question of Maria made the whole project develop into a new direction. In the end, her question was leading to films that combine the fairy tale plot with themes and experiences of the Corona time. But back to the beginning, when Wolfi and Matilda had been in the attic before and had seen the spinning wheel, they listened to fairy tales, the story of Sleeping Beauty and the Hobgoblin. And when Maria asked, can the house tell fairy tales also, the small room under the roof turned into a fairy tale corner. What a wonderful dress, Maria says. I discovered something too, Wolfi says, the spindle. Du hast die Spindel gefunden, was zu welchem Märchen passt die? Gehört Zum beiden? Ja. Da muss einer goldener Spindel. Goldener Faden drauf, einmal weiß.
Maria is a princess now. Now you probably are curious what's inside the chest. A crown, or if you discovered. Willst du die aufsetzen? Zu der Maria Lina, die zu einer Prinzessin ist. Ich habe das Schwert. Ach Maria Lina, ich habe da noch eine. Oder darf die Matilda die Krone auf? Magst du die Krone aufsetzen? Oh ja. Und jetzt stellst du dich auch mal zu Maria Lina und zum Wolfi. Oh, wie schön. Wie schön, die Matilda ist jetzt auch eine Matilda ist es. Und der Look, Wolfi. I have a crown, I have a crown. Und ein? And Wolfi is a knight on guard. Und schau mal da ein Kästchen. Das hat so ein goldenes Wappen. Was ist denn da drin? Was ist das? The things in the chest were very inviting to the kids. They spontaneously started acting. Wolfie says, Maria, come here. And she says, Now comes the wedding. Maybe you would expect that now we made films where kids were the actors. But it was more the idea the stories were filmed for the children and that grown-ups and kids played together. Kids and grown-ups brought in their own themes, especially with the Hobgoblin film. For example, losing the freedom to move the way you want, family conflicts and expectations, now your kid never will ever be taken away from his mama. That's Wolfie's theme. The question how closeness and harmony in the family can be kept in difficult situations. All these themes are somehow connected to Corona. Well, let's summarize now. The old oak chest became a fairy tale chest because the interest of the children went in that direction and so it came that fairy tale films were made. We exactly knew which ones we would pick. There are two German fairy tales where a spinning wheel is important. Sleeping Beauty comes into the attic of a tower where an old woman is sitting behind a spinning wheel. When she touches the spindle, Don Röschen falls asleep for a hundred years. Lotta would play the Sleeping Beauty, that was clear. But not only people, not only humans play important roles in our fairy tales, but also rooms and objects. Like the human actors, they, in a way, have to wear costumes. In our film The Hobgoblin, the little side room under the roof is turned into a magical place. A miller's daughter has to spin straw into gold and the hobgoblin Rumpelstilzchen helps her to do that. 
Some things are turned into fantasy objects. Like Wolfie found a flag tip put over the end of a billiard cue, it became a lance. The Stoy Castle became Sleeping Beauty's castle. A hill is built in the corner of the pub. A lamp gives more atmosphere. Some music added that fits. It looks quite different from the guest room corner as it was before, doesn't it? But even without any decorations or changes, some rooms have kind of a narrative power simply because of the old furnishing and special atmosphere. Our old guest room plays a central role in all of the films. In the fairy tale of the Frog King, it became the dining hall of the King's Castle. I other locations have their special character too and play a special part in the fairy tale films also. This night scene gives the right atmosphere for the magical and secret things in the spinning wheel corner where the hobgoblin is spinning straw into gold. And so every room has its character, its character and its special atmosphere. Ah, oh, and the Mütze is also very nice, Herr König. Thank you. The Miller admires the king's cap. All costumes were handmade, nothing was bought. Most costumes were from other stage plays and projects. and from the queen's dress to the hobgoblin's shaking ears. Every detail, every little piece of cloth was found in the old house somewhere. Anna's dress she was wearing for First Holy Communion, repaired and newly decorated, became an important motivation for Lotta playing the Sleeping Beauty. And this identical dress, a little smaller, Maria Lina just was barely fitting in. And for the others, Grandma tried to combine something in white and pink also. This little golden crown, not all five princesses could wear at the same time. So I created something middle-aged looking. Cardboard covered with cloth. Look how sweet Sarah's ears are sticking out under it. Now a little veal attached and finished. But little Mattis was unhappy. He wanted such a fine dress also, like the girls. Ta -ta, here Wolfie, with crown and sword, was so impressive. Now Mattis would be a prince also, as long as he could have the wooden sword. He wouldn't let go of it, even when kissing the Sleeping Beauty. He literally did not have eyes for anything else anymore. Now everybody's got a costume. Let's start. This is Queen Melanie, David's wife, with her kids. Princess Matilda is a little less elegant. Matilda, this is the way a real princess has to move. Well, that's better, but this princess seems to be a... Easter Bunny! 
Sarah's shoes are a little too big. Her sister wears winter boots. And no one of all the princesses was so elegant as Lotta. Until her prince is running away. From here on, the films developed in a rather unorthodox way, without a script for the films, no learning by heart or such things. The fairy tales gave orientation for the plot, scenes were developed spontaneously without a fixed plan. Compiling the video clips we had filmed before, the computer work created the story. For their individual story, different themes or aspects became important in the three fairy tale films. First, the Frog King. Such a sunny day in November that gave me the idea to film the three girls outside. They like to go to this fountain nearby. A golden ball and a frog was found, and so we made a little film as an experiment field for Susie and me. Here we could practice how films are made. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty. The idea was to tell the story using the characteristic atmosphere of rooms and decorations in the house. Rumpelstilzchen, the hobgoblin. The atmosphere in the house is important too, but the figures are psychologically characterized. The miller and his daughter show their relationship sometimes as complicated. <laughs> Strom zu Gott spinnen? Deinem lieben alten Vater zuliebe wirst du doch so eine Kleinigkeit hinbekommen. So was geht überhaupt I cannot nicht. do that. Ich kann das nicht. Well, put a little effort in it. This film is dealing with feelings in family situations or contexts. Mein Kind, gebe ich nicht her. Wolfi, mein Zwergi. Really? It is a film about family relations playing with the elements of the fairy tale story. We're planning to use this laundry kitchen, combining video clips of various fairy tales to make into a fairy tale riddle. Maybe then the old oak chest will become a fairy tale chest again. Now here is a little make of showing some funny scenes that occurred during the filming. Some actors enjoyed filming, one can see. Same procedure as last year, Miss Sophie. <laughs> Especially when there is coffee and cake with it. Some people are just gifted actors and very creative in their role. 
like Christian called Caruso. But little Maria is just the same. Ich bin die Maria und diese Kugel ist keine echte This is not a golden ball. Euch mal, This is not a real golden ball. I'll show you what it is. This is my cousin's bed and her name is Lotta. She'll play Don Röschen. Grandma is filming. Bye bye until next time with Sleeping Beauty. Also tschüss, bis zum nächsten Mal mit Don Röschen. The small ones were best when you gave them something in their hand. Was ist von der Oma ihrem Geburtstag? Ja. Wer hat denn das geholt? Die Oma Eiko, und ich und der Wolfi. Grown-ups needed instructions also sometimes. Put your arm around your wife lovingly. No, more lovingly. Lovingly put your arm around her. <laughs> Sometimes everybody talked at once. Somebody had to bring order into this chaos. Maria Lina did the job as a regie assistant, especially with her sister. She was not very tender. But here they all are smiling happily again. No, Lotta, don't get up. Aber But then you can the see the tennis shoes. Wrong footwear was a general problem in these films. Ha ha! Sie hat es geschafft. I will make her ich werde my wife. Sie zu meiner Frau machen. But she doesn't have the right shoes for the wedding. Remember, like Mike on Ben's wedding. Besides, the miller's daughter is already married to the king's sleepy guard. He carries the billiard lens and see how he uses it in his way. In the role of the old witch, I did not have to hide my true nature. Anna showed emotional intensity in her role. But this couple here was a little reluctant in showing deep feelings. Melanie is longing for a child. And here's Anna's expression of the same wish. So, better Melanie again. Well, in real life she has a little child who plays around with a sword behind the scene. <laughs> I want to go through here. No, you cannot get through here now. Anyhow, Melanie was relaxed and happy here in her very last scene, for then it was over. Filming was not quite without danger. Hast du Zeit zu in der drin? Do you have the time fuse activated? I asked. Well, that's the time fuse cable. <laughs> Now Jonathan has to sing. Eins, zwei, drei. Piano plays the cameraman, that's me, in the other room behind the wall. Gold und Silber lieb ich sehr, kann so gut gebrauchen. He can hear the piano, but I almost can't hear him. Are you not singing? Oh, please say stop immediately when you start. Braucht ja nicht geprägt zu sein, hab's auch so ganz gerne. Na, stopp. Stopp. Oh, Jonathan, why didn't you say stop? <laughs> Now I only can say thank you to one and all. First to my friend Susie. And then to all these fine actors. 
my kids with their partners and to the other grown-ups. A special big thank you to the eight children, the little princesses with their princes, to Rumpelstilzchen the Hobgoblin, to Dornröschen the Sleeping Beauty, and to the three frog princesses, all my wonderful grandkids, Lotta and Mattis, Wolfi and Matilda, and all the other little midgets, Maria Lina, Sarah, Sophia, and Salman Jakob. And now we close the fairy tale chest and we say goodbye.